There's a place in the world for standards. In fact, there are lots of places where standards do everybody a ton of good. But when someone else forces a standard on you for reasons that may or may not work for you, standards feel pretty much like being whomped by a fly swatter. And recently, Google has let on about some new Google-forced standards that you might not like. Now, it's far from the first time Google's foisted a new standard on the world. Making H.264 video all but mandatory worked out well enough, and Flash certainly needed to go away. But for every example of good Google Force standards, there's a bad one or three in the background. When everything isn't good enough, well, we're all stuck scratching our heads, and some of the new standards built into Google Pixel phones are really hard to explain. So imagine my surprise when I came across this piece at Tom's Hardware, or maybe it's not a surprise. We're about to see a few new Google Force standards, and while most are okay, one is certainly not. If you use Google Chrome, you're about to be forced to read PDF files inside that browser. Here, read this clip. Now, think about it for a moment. The world's all but de facto browser is going to force you to make it your PDF reader, sometimes. It's neither a real standard nor a necessary one, and Google is sneaking it in on us by pretending it's a security fix. The Google Force standards issue is bad enough, but since there'll be nothing to stop you from continuing to use PDF files that are already on your computer outside of your browser, the security fix is an illusion. And that's where Google Force standards or anyone's, I'm looking at you Apple, become a big problem. The issue, of course, isn't the standards themselves, nor Google's unique position to declare them. This is Google's world, and we just live in it. And I'm not going to get all preachy about unfair advantages, abuse of power, or monopolies. The problem with Google Force standards is that Google often doesn't understand how the real world works. And sure, that's part of the point. They're trying to change how the world works, but too often they miss the mark. Worse. Even when Google manages to implement a change in a way that doesn't hurt anyone, there are side effects and ways around the changes. You can bet that people will figure out how to get web access PDFs out of Chrome. So what was the point of that standard anyway? Now Google's in a different position than pretty much no, anyone else and they can do whatever they like. I happen to have been on the phone with our web host today examining a standard that they're rolling out. And the supervisor that I reached after too hard a fight admitted that they've missed the mark on their new standard. Worse, they missed the mark on how they explain it, but they understand the former and are working on it. And the latter, sadly, will probably remain a problem. Now, they are not Google, but they're way bigger than you or I meaning they care more about losing a customer than Google does, but not by much. Now, what about you? Our clients tell me over and over how hard it is to connect with customers. You know why? Because if you don't build all of your business processes beginning with the need to do so, they will break down sooner or later. You're not Google. You're not even United Internet. You can't afford that. Listen, building and rebranding business processes is what we do here. So if you want us to take a look at yours, it's free. Just contact me with a click. I'm the answer guy, and I'll be back.